Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Brittany, aka Beauty Falls. For today's video, I wanted to recreate the Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics holiday campaign look. I love this look when I saw it. It was right about the time, I think it was like the day after I launched Crease Piece, everyone was sending it to me and they were like, you need to recreate this. So I figured that I would recreate this look using my Crease Piece. So if you would like to learn how I achieved this look, please keep watching. If you liked what you saw, you know the deal. Give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe below, comment below. If you have any requests for future videos, leave that down in the comment section below as well. That's about it. As we get into the tutorial, I apologize in advance. I used tan drops to tan my face yesterday and I forgot to wash my hands before I went to bed. If it disgusts you, I am super sorry. It won't be like that in the next video. I tried to exfoliate, but whatever. All right, that's about it. Enough talking. I will see you guys at the end. I really hope you enjoy. Mwah! Okay, first I am going to prime my lids with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And first I'm just going to clean up around my brows. And then I'm going to extend it onto the lid. This way we have a nice even canvas for our eyeshadow application. Then I'm going to set my lids with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, so to recreate this look today, I'm going to be using the Almond Crease Attachment. So I am going to start on my right eye. I am just going to uh, peel off the little clear film on the back. If you think you're gonna lose that clear film, don't worry because we include replacement covers in all of our packages. So like always, I am going to start with my darkest shade and my smallest brush. And then as the colors get lighter, my brushes are going to get larger and fluffier just to really make the transition of the tones seamless. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to find my crease. I'm going to lay the crease attachment right on top and I can keep it at a bit of an angle as you can see there. And again, with my darkest color and my smallest brush, Now with the next brush and the next color. Now I'm going to move on to the next brush and the next color. And then I'm just gonna go back in on the outer third and just add a little bit of a deeper tone, again with my smallest brush. And then I'm just gonna go back in and buff out that color. And there we have it. Wow, that actually looks so freaking good. That's so fun. Wow. <laughs> So easy! So now I am ready for the next eye, but before I do, I am going to wipe off the makeup on this crease, and then I am going to recover the adhesive, and I'm ready for the next eye. So I am going to follow the exact same steps that I did on this side. And then with my next brush and my next tone, and then I'm going to go back in with those deeper tones of my smallest brush, just focus it on the outer half. So dope, and it literally took two seconds. Wow, I'm obsessed. So again, I am going to wipe off the eyeshadow, keep it nice and neat, reapply the clear film, and now I am ready for the lid. 
So now on my lid, I am going to start on the outer corners to smoke it out a bit. And now I'm almost going to work reverse of how I did my crease. I'm going to start with my uh, largest and fluffiest brush with my lightest shade. And then I am going to slowly start to build. Now I am going to take my next brush and the next tone working backwards from what I did on my crease. And again, I'm just going to focus this corner right, this corner. I am going to focus this color right on the outer corners, but I wanna keep it inside the tone that I just used. So I don't wanna go further in. I wanna keep this color almost like right inside that little dome of color that I just applied with the last tone. And now with the same brush that I just used, because I'm not going to use that tiny little pencil brush to smoke out the outer corners of my eyes, I'm going to pick up on that dark shade that I used to start my crease. Okay, so next I'm going to tackle the inside portion of the lid. So I am going to take a MAC 242 brush. This is like my favorite brush for really carving out, well, we already have a carved out crease, but really getting as close up to an edge as possible. But I am going to pick up on this tone, Chill, from the Wonderlust palette. I might have to spray the brush just to get the color to be super pigmented. But first I'm gonna try it out on my lid. I'll let you know, and then we'll go in. I feel like I need to wet the brush. That'll do it. There we go. So it's okay to kind of go over the edges, but when you go over the edges, try to pat this way. They kind of blend the tones together. Guys, Makeup by Ariel is literally just so freaking talented. The looks that him and Kylie create for these campaigns, they're always so unique, so freaking cool. And it's so fun trying to recreate them because it really forces you to step out of your like comfort zone. Because you could see how something like dramatic and super out there can still be bomb AF, you know? Okay, now that I have that lid color on, I'm just going to go back in with my uh, fluffiest brush and my lightest tone, and I am just going to tap right where those two lid colors me like the lighter part and then the smokier part just to ensure a nice smooth blend a nice smooth red blend is it wine o'clock yet i'm ready 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 okay so now i'm going to do the wing but since i do not have that exact color that Kylie was using in that photo. I'm just gonna kind of like makeshift one. So I'm going to mix a liquid lip with a like burgundy-ish eyeliner. This is my NARS liquid lip that I have back here. And then I put some eyeliner on the back of here and I'm just kind of mixing it around on the back of my hand. Okay, now I'm going to take a makeup wipe. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to go right up against that wing and really sharpen it. Next, I am going to apply a little bit of mascara and my false lashes, and I will be right back for the face. 
Okay, so now I am ready for my face makeup. I do have a bit of a tan, so I am going to mix two shades. I am going to mix the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 330, which is Toffee Caramel. And then I am going to mix the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation in Beige 32. So since I have a tan, I don't necessarily want to make myself even tanner. So I am going to use my concealers to brighten, but also reverse contour. So first I'm going to brighten and conceal underneath my eyes and the high points of my face, like the bridge of my nose and my chin. And then you'll see I'm going to just carve right underneath where my contour would be, just so that I can use my tan almost as my contour and you get like a two in one deal. <laughs> now I am going to set my under eyes using the Givenchy and the Laura Mercier translucent setting powders. And then I am going to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Next, I am going to take the Dragon Beauty Face Palette and I am going to pick up on the color Femme and I am just going to lightly contour my face and add a little bit of warmth to the perimeters. Now I am going to add some blush and I am going to mix Tea Girl and BB Girl, Baby Girl, BB Girl, you know what I mean. And I am just going to mix these two and uh, I like to smile and just like really pat it. around the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in and uh, smoke out underneath my eyes slightly. So I'm just going to take this little dome brush and first I'm gonna pick up on that lightest shade that I was using. Definitely tap that off. My lightest color is definitely gonna come in the furthest. And then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and then pick up on that middle shade that I was using. And so this color is only going to go to the halfway point of my eye. And then that darkest shade and the same brush. I am just going to focus this right on that outer corner. Before I blend those tones together, I am going to pick up on my Marc Jacobs highlighter in In The Buff. And I'm just going to apply this to my waterline. And now I'm just going to go back in with that first brush that I used for underneath my eye and just make sure that the colors are nice and blended. Okay, I touched up my hair a bit and now it is time to go in with the lip and really finish off this look. So uh, first I am going to take the Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Snappy. I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to overline them in the center. This way I can get more of like a poutier lip. And now I am going to take Inappropriate Red by NARS. This is my favorite red lipstick ever. Just because I want this lip to be a little deeper, I am going to put Immortal Red by NARS on top. Yeah, that's better. All right, I needed to put my hair up. The whole hair down thing just was not my vibe, especially with this like little suit jacket, you know? But that's about it. You guys made it to the end. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw, you know the deal. Give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe below, comment below. If you have any requests for future videos, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below as well. That's about it. I have linked all of mine and crease pieces information down below along with all of the products that I used. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Love you guys the most.